Hola a todos. En esta clase les voy a hablar del otro uso que tiene el verbo haber. El verbo haber, en nuestra clase pasada dijimos que corresponde con el verbo to have y con el verbo eh, ahora con el verbo to be. Ok? So, in our last class we talked about the verb haber and that was, uh, we were saying that it corresponds or it translates as the verb to be, uh, to have, okay? Verb to have. But haber has another use, a special use, where it can translate as the verb to be. In this special case, when we say, for example, there is something, okay? In Spanish we say, hay algo, okay? For example, to be something is Haber algo. Haber algo, ok? This is infinitive. To be something. Right? Ok? Now let's say there is a car. There is a car. Hay un auto. Right? There is a car. Hay un auto, right? So, I, I would be there is, okay? I is a special conjugation of the verb haber, okay? Because it's not the typical uh, present tense conjugation of the verb haber, because verb haber in present tense would translate as e, right? For I, as for you, a for he, she, it, right? So, I is a very special, unique conjugation of the verb haber in present for this kind of situation, to say there is something, okay? So, this actually has not a tense, it's just there is, okay? So, hay un auto, for example, there is a white car, hay un auto blanco, okay? There is a white car parked across the street. Hay un auto blanco estacionado enfrente, okay? In the future, no, not in the future, let's see. Let's, let's try with the plural, okay? Let's say, there is a car. Now let's say there are two cars, okay? There are two cars. You can see that the verb haber, when refers to there is or there are, has no plural. What does it mean that it doesn't de uh, change whether for plural or singular. So, there are two cars in Spanish will be hay you see, dos autos, okay? Hay dos autos, for there are two cars. Okay, uh, some, in some uh, Spanish-speaking countries, they prefer to use the word carro for car, okay? Carro, right? In some other Spanish-speaking countries, they use the word auto for car, okay? So both are okay, right? I usually prefer auto because auto comes from automobile, while carro is a bit more generic. Carro also means a cart, right? A cart that is pulled by a horse, for example, that is carro. So I think the word auto is a bit more specific for a car, okay? But carro is also all right. So, hay dos autos. There are two cars. Hay muchos autos. Right? There are many cars. There are many cars. Right? Past tense. There was a tree, okay? There was a tree. Hubo, right? So, there was is the past 
we still use verb haber, but in the past. Hubo, oh, there was a tree, right? Hubo un árbol. Hubo un árbol. There was a tree. Okay? Or there was a big tree. Hubo un árbol grande. Remember in Spanish, the adjective comes after or following the noun. So, hubo un árbol, there was a tree. Two trees, okay? In English we would say there were. Now it's not there was, it's there were two trees, okay? In Spanish I told you that the verb haber, when it refers to there is, right, doesn't change to plural. So, still, hubo dos árboles. Okay? There were two trees. Hubo dos árboles. Okay? So, remember this, because this is a, a mistake that is very, very common among natives, native Spanish speakers. There were and there was. In Spanish, we use the word hubo, right? Hubo. Many, perhaps more than half of, of uh, native Spanish speakers, will say hubieron. Muchos árboles. Okay? There were. This is the plural of hubo. This is wrong. We say hubo muchos árboles, even if this is a plural. The word hubieron exists, right? Hubieron is plural for past tense of verb haber, but not for there is, there was. It's this word exists only when using haber as auxiliary verb for some conjugation tenses, okay? But when we are talking about there is, there was, there were, we do not use the plural. I for there is or there, uh, or there are and hubo for there was or there were. Okay? And for the, for the future tense we'll say habrá. Okay? For example, there will be rain. There will be rain. Habrá lluvia. Okay? Habrá lluvia, there will be rain. Of course, if we want to say there will be rain, it will be more simple to say it will rain, right? In Spanish too, we can say lloverá or va a llover, it will rain. But habrá lluvia is perfectly fine and it means there will be rain, okay? So this is our other use of the verb haber. Este es nuestro otro uso del verbo haber, la otra utilización del verbo haber. El verbo haber es uno de los verbos más importantes del español y tiene muchas utilizaciones. Esta es una de ellas y es una utilización muy importante. Así que si tienen dudas me pueden escribir, estaré contestándoles y si no, nos vemos en la clase que viene. Gracias.